Hello, I'm Lux. And I'm Ember. And ponies! It's back! And here we thought it was going to be a three-month hiatus. That would have actually been nice, because we had a bunch of other stuff we wanted to do. But hey, ponies! Yeah, you know, it's it's only a half hour. We can go back to playing Splatoon. <laughs> uh, and this is Season 5, Episode 14 of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. I put the episodes in the wrong place, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> and this is our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 14. Canterlot Boutique. Ah, and we're back, as I said before, with a rarity episode. Uh, Pinkie Pie was okay in the beginning. Why would she keep eating those things? Also, why would she put cilantro in a sweet cupcake? <laughs> I'm kind of like okay with this episode, like middle road, because I liked it but I didn't super like it. It had good points to it. The song was nice, but it almost the song felt almost a little too much like Art of the Dress to me. It had a very similar feel to Art of the Dress, which since it was still about making dresses, mm -hmm. but you know, all her other songs have been very unique. Art of the Dress, Pony Every Pony Should Know, Manhattan. And the moment I saw the manager i was like she's going to be a problem yeah the second sassy saddles walked in i'm like mm, yeah this is not going to go well and we're gonna probably do the she takes over rarity's role you know we're gonna go with that plot point the person part in to help actually takes over everything except usually it's a friend most of the time in these kind of plots it's a friend you come and ask to help and instead of just helping they take over their entire project Yes, but that setup wouldn't work this time because all the Ponyville friends can't stay in Canterlot because they have stuff to do in Ponyville, and the friends that she had in Manhattan have their own projects to work on because the one who gave her the rainbow thread, I'm sure, is still working on doing the costuming for the stage show because do you know how long some of those stage shows run? Mm-hmm. One of the big things I really like about this episode is it actually shows another one of the main six striving for their dream. It's not just Rainbow Dash and technically Twilight Sparkle has kind of got her dream already. Except like living in a library was part of that or something. I don't think we have a clear definition of Twilight's dream. I mean, you know, her original thing was all steady, 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 and then she discovered friendship. And it was like, friendship, magic. Friendship is magic. Now what? Yeah. So we really only have Rarity and Rainbow Dash to ha who have big visible dreams. Because Rainbow Dash is to become the best flyer and all of Equestria eventually join the Wonderbolts. I'm kind of iffy on that right now because it looks like her dream's kind of shifting slightly. And then we have Rarity who wants to be the biggest fashion person in Equestria as it were. And she just made her first big step which is owning a boutique in Canterlot, one of the biggest hubs of Equestria. Mm-hmm. And she's always loved Canterlot, and she's always wanted to be in Canterlot, so this lines up nicely with the previous seasons. And the dress designs were really nice. I didn't really have any problems with them. One of my favorite parts with the dresses comes near the end with the goth pony. <laughs> <laughs> Which, despite what it sounds like, it actually wasn't voiced by Tara Strong. It was a new voice actress, which I hadn't had a chance to look up yet, because me and her basically watched the episode and paused it right at the credits and started talking about other stuff because we were like, okay, New Ponies is out. We weren't expecting it. We need to watch it and then record about it, but we have other stuff we need to do. <laughs> Three hours of Splatoon later. That's other stuff to do. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was nice. I liked how apparently her friend was the one who got the sundress, so that was a nice kind of contrast there. But probably going back near to the beginning, over to Ember. Yes, so grand opening. We see right from the beginning that, yes, we were right, Sassy Saddles is going to be trouble because she opened the front door and that should have been Rarity. 
Rarity had the dresses behind her and then Sassy Saddles floated them around the room, which was a nice touch, but they should have apparently discussed the presentation beforehand. Because apparently it wasn't discussed at all. Or Rarity said, this is what I'm thinking of going with. And Saddles was like, I think this is better without even telling Rarity. Well, obviously Rarity wasn't let in on the entire pattern to begin with because she would have nixed that automation line from step one. Mm hmm because every dress is supposed to be a unique design by her, which is kind of problematic in the long run, but it does make each dress unique. Yes, but she could do several of the same dress, and with the pattern, someone else could still do her dresses, but they would still need to be made individually, not an automation line, because that's not couture. And she could eventually get assistance, like Coco Pamel, to design their own dresses, that way you can have more than one person making dresses that are each unique. Yeah, so you have your headliner designer and then you have other designers, you know, under the same overarching label, but all unique and different. But to discuss the story a little bit, it seemed very, um, run-of-the-mill. They followed the pattern of that particular style of plot very well. It was very straightforward and the resolution was really quick. Very quick, quicker than I was expecting, because I thought she might throw the witch out. Yeah, I'm like, y you are generous, but this is pushing it. <laughs> Just a little. Apparently, since she's failed, like, what, three or so other stores? So, one, how did you not do your research on that rarity? <laughs> that all you did was look at the resume and see that she worked at all this these amazing boutiques not notice that all these amazing boutiques happen to go out of business and resumes are supposed to have dates. Wouldn't you notice that she was at the closing of all of those mm -hmm. or right before the closing of all of them? And going back to her pattern, I felt like we were on Pinterest. Okay, stick a pin in it. <laughs> it's done. And yes, okay, a signature dress. I can understand having a signature item, but seriously, Sassy, you overdid it. And why did you rebrand that one dress to be the signature dress? Mm -hmm. I think it's because it was, she was pretty sure it was going to be worn by an actual princess since Rarity is actual close friends and is part. Oh, that's another thing that was here. Rarity was actually pointed out as being connected to not only Twilight Sparkle, also wasn't specifically said. But by the looks of it, we're actually starting to get inklings that the rest of the world know the main six actually exist as a group, which hasn't been pointed out at all in the past. Well, you know, you save the world a few times and you travel around as Princess Twilight Sparkle's entourage. Eventually, someone's going to notice. Mm-hmm. I like that cab driver. <laughs> she has wings and a horn. <laughs> what kind of person are you? It's like kicking Queen Elizabeth out of a cab. You don't do that! <laughs> no, but not everyone would necessarily recognize Queen Elizabeth, especially if you went to another country. But when you take the fact that there are only a handful of alicorns on the entire globe... <laughs> Except you count those animation mistakes in the background. Assuming they were actually mistakes. <laughs> Oh, and I just remembered another point from the goth person. These things are still on sale, right? <laughs> well, absolutely, because you come in and pick out your dresses and then find out the place isn't closing. I would be afraid the prices would go back up, too. Yeah, and that's part of Ray's personality there I did agree with. She would keep the dresses at the sale prices because she would be happy that everyone is finally going, Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, because it was the fact that everyone was happy and looking at the dresses and finding dresses that she loved that helped her remember this is what I wanted the boutique to be. Now that I threw out this princess dress, that's what's happening, so I need to stay here because now it's happening the way it's supposed to. Though if I was her, I would definitely come back like every week and check on her. I would even like send Spike to like go there <laughs> or uh, Twilight Sparkle since so she can wink. And being a princess, she probably has extreme range on that now. Yeah, because normal winking range isn't that far, but princess winking range has got to be further. <laughs> Sorry, the way you said that. It's in like, princess winking range. <laughs> a new princess. Who's a princess of teleporting. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Twilight did finally get down the royal hand wave. <laughs> that was a nice touch. I was like, 
Oh my god, they're doing the royal hand wave. Because <laughs> there's something that was like, yeah, 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 that's definitely her doing the royal hand wave because it's a hoof, so it was kind of hard to tell that she was doing the. Because it's a cuffed hand and it just twists back and forth. <laughs> we have to briefly touch on how excited that one pony was. <laughs> I mean, if he looked any happier. Oh, yes, I completely forgot about the uh, press pony. <laughs> If he looked any happier, he would be SpongeBob SquarePants when SpongeBob is told the Krusty Krab is going to be open 24 hours. <laughs> I'm very sad that I just said that. I'm sorry, every pony. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sad. No, I'm not. To say that we're not big fans of SpongeBob SquarePants. We just, it's another one of those things we just don't get. <laughs> yes, we have watched several episodes. I'm shivering right now. Uh, uh, but yeah, that, that particular point, I completely forgot about his expressions. They were wonderful. I know, and he was so excited in the princess dress. Oh my god, the rain and the stain and the design. He actually got the... it. Yes. So it's like, if he gets it, everyone else is going to get it. But no, you just want the cachet of princess. Mm. It was like Pinkie Pie at the trading fair. <laughs> Stressing the princessness of all of Twilight's possessions. <laughs> and speaking of names, speaking of Pinky as well, the cake on the Moo Ma mm, Express. Oh yeah, the the marshmallow meringue marzipan. Something 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 cake. Yeah, which did not <laughs> even sound good together. Yes, no. It's like especially since I think I've had marzipan or mar mascarpone. Oh, yeah, there was marscapone in it. I wouldn't have put marscapone with marzipan and meringue. All I know is, like, one of them was that hard stuff they put on outside of cakes to give it that kind of sculpted look and stuff like that. And I've tried it, and it's not very tasty. That's fondant. It's edible. That doesn't mean you should eat it. <laughs> okay, I was wrong on that. Uh, but, oh my god, yeah, I don't know why I completely forgot about him. <laughs> Well, we kind of completely forgot about him because he was only there for that one moment. The rest of the time was Sassy Saddles turning Rarity into a drudge and quashing her creativity. Turning her into a manufacturing robot. Pretty much. And then letting her see... Oh, no. Yeah, go ahead. Go show that customer the dress that isn't what they ordered. Which, yes, I can see that because the customer asked for a specific dress... So that wasn't the way to introduce it, even though she was excited about it. Mm -hmm. So that was a very effective way of Sassy quashing Rarity very thoroughly and made me think that her witchiness level was much higher than it apparently was by the end of the episode. Yeah, because she did, to me, she did a 180. Mm -hmm. She learned her lesson too quickly, too easily. And a person like that, you usually don't trust. No, this is way too fast. It's like Discord turning good fast. Yeah, except... I don't think this episode needed two parts. It just needed more backing away, as it were, from the resolution. So the resolution had more room to actually resolve. resolve. Mm -hmm. Or actually letting Sassy Saddles go, but leave on good terms. And I almost totally forgot at the beginning of the episode, Rarity's cat's eye glasses looked way off. They were way too small. The color was wrong. And they fixed it in a later angle. They were closer to the color I associate with hers. Not that she can't have more than one pair. And the sizing was more correct. When they first showed them on her muzzle at the beginning, they were way too small to do any good. And this has been our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Season 5, Episode 14, Canterlot Boutique. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and or leaving a friendly comment below. Want to know more of what's going on? You can check Lux out on Tumblr and DeviantArt. Really like Lux's art? And would like some high quality versions or maybe some of your own? He is currently accepting commissions and also has a Patreon. All links in the description.